guys. Tim here. Gonna change the tail light. I'm not quite sure why, but I just changed this like two months ago. Tail light bulbs aren't supposed to go off this often. And when I bought this, there's a Carfax that came along with it. Very extensive one. Guy had a whole lot of work done to it, typically at a shop, so it always showed um, what he had done and the tail lights were changed off and they threw me off. Like that's, I don't know why he had them changed so often. Apparently they burn out fast in this vehicle. It's a 2013 Chevy Express 1500 cargo base model with the 4.3 liter V6. Change that one right there. If I recall, it takes a 10 millimeter. Let me double check and make sure this is recording. Looks like we're a go. Grab my trusty 10 millimeter and a nut driver. I don't feel like going inside and getting my drill. It's only like three bolts, uh, nuts on the outside. I believe there's gonna be one inside or it's underneath this black piece up here. You can see I got one here. Put that where I don't lose it. I changed them both too. So my passenger side um, turn signal light will probably go out too. Well, it's the same thing, it's your tail light bulb. Brake light, it's all the same. I use my hazards a lot. I was wondering if that would be a, could be a reason. If anybody knows what makes these burn out more often than other vehicles, that's the only thing I can think of I do different as I do have my hazards on a lot. Trying to stay out of the view. You know I'm no professional filmographer or anything. So this stuff's still new to me. That's the third nut. This should come right off. And there should be that one right there. That one right up there. I take that off. And then I gotta give it a tug. for that all right now I should be able to just give this a tug uh, not even really a tug comes right out I haven't changed the reverse light but it's gonna be it's gonna be this one right here give it I think about a quarter turn to the left yeah quarter turn pops out good I got the right bulb pop that out Oh, the reason I'm wearing the gloves, you don't want to get the oil from your hands on these halogen bulbs because they will pop like that. They'll be burning out in less than a week. And when two of these, this is the 30, 3155, uh, 3157 Silver Star Sylvania. They're a couple steps above the cheapest ones. They're a little brighter and they're supposed to last a little longer. But yeah, they're $12.99 a pack at the Auto Zone. And you just take this here. And it looks a little charred right there. Not really charred, but definitely seen better days. Pop that in. And you want to stick it back in there and give it that quarter turn. Once you line up the right hole, it should be right there. Back to the right, quarter turn. It's done. And you pop that right back over the studs coming out over the studs coming out right there don't put them all on yet just put the one on that goes right here on the top I'll get it on their finger tight 
as tight as I can get it with my fingers, which it's not wanting to turn, so not very tight with my finger. It's still going. Loosen up now. There we go. Get that snug, but not too snug. You don't want to break the plastic. This is stuff you don't want to work on out really much when it's below freezing either, because this is a lot of plastic and it will crack. It'll crack real easy. That the, yeah, I know that's the one I took off of there. Then you want to take this. Uh, there's a little seal on here. Make sure that gets back on there. Didn't notice that the last time I did this. Got a little gasket of some sort. Keep the mother nature in. Got to get it the right side up. <laughs> that goes there, there. This needs to go under there. I, I backed into a tree branch at the Red Ribbon one day. Right, it hit the top of the door. I don't know if the camera's gonna get it. Caught it right up there. And it knocked that plastic trim up. And uh, ever since then, I haven't been able to tilt that up a little bit. Haven't been able to get that to line up right. see if we can do it today see I, that comes down I think it broke the plastic out a little bit where this nut goes on I'm gonna have another look see I've got some washers I might be able to Tim engineer it make it work hope you guys can hear me good because my back's to the camera but this needs to come down I, I don't see anything holding it from going to where it needs to be. It should stay there. Yeah, when I'm tightening on this plastic stuff like this, I don't like to use my drill or my impact driver because you can snap this plastic real easy and that would require more tim engineering down the line that i don't want to mess with so this time i'm gonna look at the space there okay I'm gonna push this up a little bit as I tighten it this time and maybe that'll fill that gap and this won't come out anymore so I'm not gonna tighten that all the way just yet don't want to cross thread either okay that's going up a little higher there we go that might, might have pushed this down a little bit when I did that and I didn't notice it I'll give it a little tighter get a little tighter I just I don't crank it down too tight because like I said I don't want to break this plastic because then either be online at Rock Auto or going to pick and pull or wherever trying to find that piece that I just cracked from just putting a little too much pressure on it I'm gonna go flip the hazards on And it should work so that should be flashing so wish me luck
just like that back in business check the other side she's a flashing too uh, about just as bright let's see here yeah if you see the amazon thing i've done a little amazon it's not my favorite gig app to work by any means to me it's a, actually it's amazon flex that's a independent contractor work for those that don't know uh which means i don't work their app if i don't have to or don't want to what i found out by working that it was a lot of unknown you didn't know where you were going to go you just go to the amazon warehouse pick up your block they call it and then pull up get all your packages sorted and loaded and who knows where you're going <laughs> so yeah I, the last one of the last ones i did i picked up from the warehouse i think i paid 97 dollars. my first drop off was 40 miles away 40. i ended up being almost 80 miles from home by the time i got to that 47th package to drop off and it took me uh i think that one took me eight minutes longer then I think it was a four and a half hour block, meaning I'm supposed to be able to complete that in four and a half hours, where a lot of people claim that they get them done in half the time. No sure, I have no clue how they could do that. Impossible to me. I don't believe it. Not on something like that. Uh, but I got it done like eight minutes late, but I got it finished. That's what, that's all that mattered. I got it finished, I got it completed. I didn't have to go back to the warehouse and drop off any packages, so it was all good. And uh, that's another thing. If you don't get them all uh, all dropped off, all the packages, you just take them back to the warehouse. You still get paid in full. But anyway, that is how you do a tail light on a 2013 Chevy Express 1500 cargo base. It's probably the same on any of your Chevy full size vans. And to do it on this side, you simply reverse it. it it's the same thing. Everything's the same. It's the same four bolts you got your one right here your one right there then your one up here and then the one that's in there that you can't see until you take that off it's going to be right back there it's a, the camera yeah right back there and i've actually got a tripod work and i had to tim janeer some stuff with the top of here to get it to mount the phone but it works so hopefully this video is a lot more steady than some of the others i've done uh, I need to get an operating tripod. This is a really good tripod for a camera, not not for a smartphone. So once I figure that out, I've got another one. This is what this was the Tim Janeering here, because the piece on here that goes on here that's hooked to the phone mount is what I put on there. Only this is a much this this tripod only will stand up that tall. <laughs> this is a this is a, this is a neat little tripod, but. It's not made, or this is made for the, uh, like the GoPro attachment. It was exactly what's holding this phone on here right now. I just had to mix and match some stuff, but it all works. Until next time, I'm out of here. Uh, how, how does Scotty Kilmer die? For my next car repair video. <laughs> anyway, I'll find more stuff to work on on this, I'm sure. And I'm trying to film little things like this because there's hardly any information on YouTube for this particular type of van with the 4.3 liter V6. Uh, stuff like this is going to be common on all the vans. But when it comes to the mechanicals like the PCV valve I did or anything that I'm going to do to that motor, there's no videos on it. Hardly anything. And I do have one I still have to put together for the alternator. But it's like 37 different video clips and i think i've mentioned several times i am no professional videographer filmographer whatever you call it that's going to require a lot of editing um not just the, all the clips together but my mouth it was very frustrating and i'm gonna have to bleep out some things so it'll be entertaining once i get it out um probably won't be a whole lot of talking really even though i you know i talked in the video i'll probably play some music in the background something and like I said, I'll have to do some bleeping because I did some cussing and some cursing and some swearing. And yeah, because it was very, very frustrating doing that alternator. But I got it done. I did that back in January of last year, of this year. But till next time, we'll see you.